evening. Look, I consciously choose not to make any disclaimers about there being good police or good white people. If you watch how I move, my ebb and flow, the people that surround me understand my energy and my vibration, and they understand the premise based on all of my ideology. It is not my job to break down and decipher the psyche of every human that I meet. It's not my job to do that, but it is my job to recognize what level they're on and how they're approaching. And at this point, as black people, it amazes me how I made a video today of me cussing out the lady that came to my house. The lady that came and harassed me multiple times and was calling me baby and honey. I think she thought I was cute, to be honest. And how she just kept coming back to my house, even though I told her that I had complied and done everything and she was harassing me. And so when I got my camera out today, at that point I was pissed off because I had asked her to get off my property multiple times and she just defied me and just was doing what she wanted to do. And so it amazes me that, and I was not attacked by anyone black, but just the sentiment, the thought of, oh, wow, look at what Byron did to her. When nobody perspective was but a couple people on the threads perspective was damn Byron's at his house chilling he's being harassed but on video the woman saying he's harassing her when clearly she's at his home and when he spoke in defense of his neighborhood she claimed that it was her neighborhood yet when I walked over and looked at her car there were Colorado tags and she clearly says on the video this is my car and so I just want to say that I cannot be apologetic and take myself seriously when I understand the atrocities that we've faced as a people and that at this point, the only reason we're still facing it is because we will not force the real conversation even in the time of its height. Like it's the appropriate time now to just have this conversation. Where everybody say, wait. Do it the right way, the right time, right? Well, let me tell you why I made this video. Because if we don't speak right now, wow, the iron is hot. <laughs> the next time we'll have a potential for this type of revolution without death will be two, three hundred years from now, like the last time.